Hey there and happy Thursday. I don't know how many of you feel like it's Friday because of it being Easter weekend and such. And maybe some of you have tomorrow off or um, it'll be such a busy day that you won't even know what day it is this weekend because of extra company or planning and things like that too. So, oops, I just dropped part of my card. All right, I'm just gonna set that aside because that's my optional inset for the inside. There we go. So um, I am bringing you card number three for Sue Bay's party, and it's all about chocolate today. So I'm um, trying to think of things that I will really miss, and I'm almost thinking, sometimes I'm really good about this. Maybe Sue can chime in because I see she just joined. Um, I can't remember, Sue, if you got this bundle, nothing's better than, I feel like maybe you did. Oh, there's Lisa. Lisa was having trouble trying to see my notifications of when I was going live and such so it's good to see your name pop up here because then I know that you made it hi there Donna so um yeah so let me know if you have this bundle of, um with the chocolate nothing's better than it's got like cocktails chocolate coffee tea things like that and even cookies and I've done some things with it but I'll be honest um yesterday I kind of was inspired by another demonstrator and when things um are starting to retire then I kind of go through my Pinterest page and what are some things that I've marked that okay what did I really want to show you guys that I thought was cute that I thought you guys would think was cute and this is one of those cards and it's like I need to make it this month before it retires next month because then it'll be sad if you um, can't do anything you know as far as getting it Lisa's got it wonderful and I know this was uh, really popular when it came out and it's been a while, but it has stayed popular too. Sometimes um, certain bundles kind of lose their zest after a while, but this one has stayed steady. So let me um, get, um, yes, and Sue said, yes, she's got the bundle too. All right, perfect. Let me get my uh, camera turned around here for you guys so that you can see the card better kind of just use some nice fun chocolatey colors so there's sue and her host code and and i just helped somebody place their order for sue's party so we got that host code plugged in just before i came live so it's kind of fun to be able to tell you you've got a new order sue all right, here we go. And once again, things on here um, will be retiring and some things will be on sale. So I'm going to do kind of like I did yesterday. I think that's going to be my theme of the month is, hey, this is retiring um, and everything that I'm using today, I mean, that can change by the minute, hour, day. Um, everything I'm using is still available. Sometimes when it's on the retiring list, things go fast, but um, I'll let you know what is retiring and if there's a sale price on it as well. Hi there, Eve. So, um, here's the stamp set. Like I said, everything like cocktails, coffee, cookies, chocolate, and then, you know, we've got all these fun images too. Um, today I'm choosing to use my stamp and blends to color the chocolate in, but I've used this, um, to just stamp in a lighter color, like for two-step stamping, very easy to match that up with this being a photopolymer stamp set. So I like to let everybody know that. So, um, today this comes from the annual catalog on page 20 and you can see some fun things that they've done for samples here. Um, so that's where you can find it in the annual catalog. And if you have any questions on that, let me know. And then sold separately, um, is the love you more than dies and that coordinates. And this is kind of different because it kind of coordinates like with the images, the main images of like coffee or tea, cocktail cocktails, cookie, and then it actually has the word for cookies, um, cocktails, chocolate, um, love you more than, um, and then coffee. It doesn't have the word tea, um, but you could use like the cup for that. I've seen a lot of um, things like that. Thank you, Lisa. I think today's card is adorable. And like I said, all credit today going to Elizabeth Price because it was her Pinterest pin that I saw probably three years ago. <laughs> And it's just every time I go past it, I love it. And I'm like, you know, I just need to make the card and get it out of my system. Um, so the stamp set is um it's retiring it's not on sale it is 22 dollars. but the dies um normally the dies i'm trying to think 
are $30. The dies are on sale for $18. Um, so that's why I kind of like to point out that it's got a lot of words. So if you like to um, cut out words and such, it's got that in there besides what I'm using it for today. So that's something to let you know. The other dies, um, I think I'll just keep going with the dies that I'm using. Layering circles. They are retiring. I'm just shocked by this. And I know we have the stylish shapes now, which has some stitch circles in it, but the layering circles are retiring. I see that they're still 35 regular price. Um, and then the rectangle stitch dies are also um, retiring. And I lo have loved these because it's got the different two different shapes of rectangles too. So normally the stitch rectangles have been 35, but now that they're retiring, they are marked down to 2450. So um, I'm going to be using that just kind of as like accent pieces today. Um, and then I think to start my card today, I'm going to jump in with the gingham embossing folder. And this one has been super popular too. It is retiring. Um, so the price on this um, normally is $7.50. It's not a 3D, so that's why it's only $7.50. But on sale, $3. $3. And um, I know you've heard me say this, when um, an embossing folder is that cheap, usually I just get it because why not for $3? Like I can go like one day without my Diet Coke. No, I guess I can't. I'll just spend $3 on the embossing folder because I can't go without my Diet Coke. <laughs> All right, so let me get started um, with this here. And like I said, I'll just keep like letting you know about the other products too. All right, so um, a lot of our embossing folders are, are um, 3D. So I kind of want to just um, run through how to um, build your sandwich for the cut and emboss machine when you have an embossing folder that is not 3D. And um, so I've got plate number one, and then I'm going to go with my cutting plates next. So I'm just gonna feed in a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white cardstock here, and then just one more of the cutting plate. So it's almost like you're using a die, but um, you don't have that extra shim piece in there. So um, I'm just gonna put that through and show you what a fun look. And I think for a long time I used to underestimate white um, as like a layer for um, an embossing folder. And I just love the look of white. I always kind of um, um, take a step back when I use my gingham embossing folder because I feel like out of all of our folders, it looks the same on both sides just because the indents and in the pattern kind of just do the same thing. So um, I think that's kind of interesting when that happens because like it's a rare thing, right? <laughs> All right, so we've got this, and then um, I'm just gonna set this aside, I think, right now, and then do some more die cutting. And before I do my die cutting, I need, no, I am gonna do, let's see, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm just gonna take um, a scratch piece of paper over here. I have to do a little bit of stamping, and then I can do my die cutting, because I like to, for your efficiency and watching do it all at once and make it go faster. So I'm going to um, get out my early espresso ink pad. Hello there, Janet. I've missed hearing from you. It's good to see your name on here or seeing your name even. I've missed that. All right. So I've got my early espresso ink pad and I'm going to take these cute little three packs of chocolates here and I'm just going to stamp them out just a couple times here. I always have like these chunks of white cardstock and it's always so nice to just have that for this. All right, so what I'm gonna cut out then, and I'm actually going to swap out my cutting pads to make this work. Um, I'm gonna take a layering circle in white and that's what I'm gonna stamp on. Um, after I get it die cut because it's a photopolymer stamp set so I can kind of go against my usual rules usually I am a girl that says hey always stamp first then cut but I'm gonna cut out the circle here and then I'm going to swap out the um, this is another layering circles die but it's got the scalloped edge it's just a little bit bigger here and that is early espresso cardstock so I'm gonna run that through like so and then we've got that okay and then I'm gonna take my chocolates and run that through here I'm um, gonna run that through twice and because I need two of my um, 
stitched rectangles. Like I said, I'm just kind of doing that size, kind of like a long bar. Um, I'm just gonna put one of them, and that's Sahara Sand. If you like to know colors, I always like to know colors. <laughs> All right, so I've got that. And then I'm going to grab that chocolate, put it there. And then I'm going to grab, whoops, line up. Kind of jumped on me there. Okay, the second chocolate. And then I want another bar here. And this is Soft Suede. Both Sahara Sand and Soft Suede are retiring as far as the colors that I'm using today. All right, and then I think I'll have everything all cut out. If my friend Pam was watching, she'd be like, awesome, Belle, I love if you put like 50 dyes on your project at a time. Kind of feels like that today, but um, once everything's cut out, you hear me say that often, it'll just come together pretty quick. Um, Hey there, Tori. Good to see you on here. I'm going to, for those that like to see a little closer when I color things in, hello there, Kirsten. Um, I'm going to put my camera a little bit closer so you can see how I colored in um, my chocolate. So I'm going to start with light crumb cake, actually dark crumb cake. And I'm going to take and just outline this like so. And... I'm going to take my second one because this the lighter chocolate's going to be, oops, here I get it closer and then I totally go out of camera, didn't I? Sorry about that. Okay, so I'll, outlining the two middle chocolates with dark crumb cake and then I'm just going to go over and something that I do want to mention as I color in the light crumb cake, I inked and stamped these out with um, early espresso ink pad and I know 99% um, of the time I'll say to get best results with your stamp and blends use a memento black ink pad but every once in a while I break the rules so that is one of my break the rules things today um, let's see and then I'm going to go to dark soft suede and I'm just going to outline the two outside chocolates with that color so you know when you get those variety packs of chocolates, it's gonna kind of look like that because there's gonna be different colorings there that way. Like so, and like so. So we've got that. And then I'm gonna go in with light soft suede. Just color that in like so. I just love the way these chocolates turn out because they look so 3D. Happy Easter to you, Kirsten. I see your little emojis showing up. Love that. Cute, cute. All right. These are the little types of projects I could just sit and color all day because with the early espresso and just that little bit of blends, I just love the coloring and how those things have turned out. Hi there, Donna. Okay, now I'm gonna pop my camera back up here and just assemble the card quick. All right, so like I said, I have a Sahara Sand card base today folding out this way, and then I'm just going to take my gingham embossing folder on sale for those of you just joining me for just $3. Um, so I'm going to put that on here, basic white on Sahara sand, cut four, um, the white is cut four by five and a quarter. And then um, before I put this down, today is a chocolate kind of day. So those are all three different stamps here. And I don't know why I closed that back up. So what I did is put, um, today is a chocolate kind of day, three different stamps, and I put them all on the same acrylic block. Um, I did this ahead of time. So you're like, how did she know? So I just put the stamps actually right on the circle. And then I put my block on top of my stamps. So how fun is that, that that can line up then so perfectly. So I've got that. And then I'm just going to flip this over and add my adhesive to that. And then my early espresso base here. And then one of my chocolates, I'm just gonna tape down, oops, sticking my finger, off to the side. And then this one, I'm going to pop up with a couple dimensionals here, like so. And then I'm going to tip that over 
and put like four dimensionals on the back side there. All right, now I'm going to take these two rectangles here, just put a strip each of my adhesive, put that down and that down, and then watch how that just comes together super fast. I love that. Okay, so we've got that. And then the only accessory I'm adding to finish my card here is just some early espresso faux um, suede trim. Normally at 650, that is retiring as well. I love this stuff. And it's on sale for just $3.90. So that is a great sale too. So I'm just gonna take and make a knot like so and trim that knot, press it into a glue dot. And that's gonna go like right on the corner here of one of my stitched rectangles. Now for the inside, um, like Sue and her friends that are gonna be receiving these cards, um, I'm choosing to stamp out um, okay, so it says today is a chocolate kind of day, so I'm going to stamp out, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. But maybe Sue and her friends want it to be a happy birthday card, so what I'm going to do is just place this um, and not um, stuck down or adhered in the inside. So that way if you want to put happy birthday or something in there, you still have that option. It's not going to be taped down, so I'm just going to leave that like so in there. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's card. Like I said, I really had fun putting together all those different tones of brown and seeing that come together. And thanks to Elizabeth Price for her great pin on Pinterest for that. That. Um, Sue says the three cards that you um, have uh, made for me hit my personally have hit me personally perfect wine queen and chocolate oh fun I love hearing that that makes my day because um, sometimes I think I know like my hostesses and you know sometimes I've met my hostesses um, but it's been during the pandemic so I haven't been able to like get to know them like some and so that just like hits me in my heart too to know that I hopefully I nailed you wonderful love that and like I said Sue's having a great time celebrating her 50th birthday so if you want to help add to that celebration and get her three cards for free that I'm making just order using her personal host code here minimum $25 order gets you the three cards for free so thanks so much and Sue's going to be keeping her party open to like the 20 or 25th around there so we'll give you some time but with retiring products, try to get your order in sooner than later so things don't sell out as well. So have a great weekend. I will be back with you guys on Tuesday. Have a great Easter. Thanks. Bye-bye.